Hey everyone, welcome back. Here we are, new day, new lure, and uh, today's lure is going to be actually a viewer suggestion. Coming from Bandit VA, uh, this is a lo long overdue, I'm so sorry about that, I finally got to it, and it's going to be a white crappie. Uh, as you may have known, in the previous uh, in a previous video I did a black crappie, I'll put a link up here somewhere. And uh, yeah, suggestion was thrown out, white crappie, also known as uh, a white perch, uh, I think silver perch as well uh they're not super widespread throughout north america but you know i think it'd be a, a fun uh a fun little challenge here so what i've done so far is base coat with titanium white metallic white over top figured those are pretty self-explanatory don't need me to show you that one now i'm gonna have some transparent yellow iron oxide in the brush and handy dandy mesh and just kind of lightly spray turn the air compressor on and just lightly spray the body in the middle We're going to try and keep this one as simple as possible. Very light. The nice thing about transparent colors is that if it turned out a bit lighter than you hoped, just go over it again and it just gets darker and darker with each layer you put on. Next we'll use some sap green hue, focus more along the back, Get around the eye. What I like about putting metallics and pearls down first is that when you just spray light layers of more solid colors, you can still get that metallic and that pearl that comes through. Next we have some Wicked Aluminum. I'm going to spray it along the, uh, the lower portion of the of the fish and uh, I'm going to spray kind of from this angle because I still want to have a little bit of white behind the gill plates here next we got some sepia to go along the back Next we have some transparent white, going through the, uh, it? just the scale tips stencil from Anarchy Models. And it puts a nice little scale on the cheek, over the rest, the metallic still comes through. Just looking at that little reference photo, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this uh, phthalo blue, 
because it's a green shade, I'm going to spray it very lightly over top of this brown and green mix, just to give it more of that, uh, it's hard to explain, you know how some the fish scales just have that little bit of bluish green reflective look to them, that little sheen? So hopefully I can do this on camera without messing it up, and we'll go nice and gentle. So just to recap, do a little more detail with the sap green hue, a little bit of sepia just along the along the head there. Still wanted to keep those little scale tips nice and crisp along the back there. Getting close to the end here, what we're going to do is we're going to use the Aquascales Micro. But I'm going to mix it with my own little bar stencil. Just clamp them together. I'll get some shading gray in the brush. Give it a little blast down the back. Now with some carbon black, a little tracing of the gill stencil here. some transparent red under one of the gill plates here. Sepia back in the brush.
Okay, next we have some light cure UV resin and uh, UV light. And basically we'll just take the resin, shake it up, put a healthy amount right in the middle. And push it around. And here's the finished product. I like how it turned out. I think it came pretty close. What do you think? Let me know down below in the comments. Um, thank you so much to Bandit VA for, for the suggestion. Um, to anybody else, always open to suggestions. I love it. I love the interaction. And uh, yeah, I really hope you think I nailed it. Okay. Thanks so much. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.